When programming, text is represented by strings. In Python, there are many ways to create a string. After all, there are many different types of text. Some have apostrophes, some have quotation marks, and some long strings have new lines. Your goal today, make strings in three different ways. To begin, open a terminal and start Python. First, we create a string and store it in a variable. This stores the string meet me tonight in a variable called message. You do not have to type a semicolon at the end like you do in many other languages, like Java or C++. You can see the string stored in message by printing it. We created our first string using quotation marks, but you can also create strings using single quotes. Let's verify that the text is stored in this variable by printing it. So you can make a string using single quotes or double quotes. We didn't have to specify that message and message2 were strings. We just assigned them strings, and the Python interpreter was smart enough to know that the variables should hold strings. But what's the point of this? To have more than one way to make a string? Well, suppose you wanted to make a string and one of the words had an apostrophe. If you try to make the string using single quotes, you get a syntax error. Do you see the problem? When the Python interpreter encountered the apostrophe in the word I'm, it thought that that was the end of the string, so the remaining text caused the error. There are two ways to fix this. One way is to escape the apostrophe by putting a backslash in front of it. This tells Python that the single quote is to be treated as a single character and not the end of the string. But the savvy way is to create the string using quotes. No errors, no escape characters. If you make a string using double quotes but your text contains a quotation mark, you get another error. This is because Python interprets the quotation mark before beam as the end of the string. We can avoid this error by using single quotes to make the string. But how do you make more complicated strings? Strings which contain apostrophes and quotation marks. For this case, you can begin and end the string using triple quotes. You can use three double quotes or three single quotes. We'll use double quotes. This text has single quotes, double quotes, and even new lines. Did you notice the triple dots which appeared while typing this? That's how Python tells you the command you're typing is taking more than one line. So you can create strings in Python using single quotes, double quotes, or triple quotes. This makes it easy to store all kinds of text without having to resort to trickery. And you can quote me on that. <laughs>